Hello and welcome to another Gone Electric video. Today's video is a product review, which I don't do too often. Except today I have a product that I've had for several months, I've gotten a ton of use out of, and I think it's a really, really good value while also being super useful. It's an adapter called the Monzarian, and it's specifically for us non-Tesla EV owners when we need to charge on a Tesla Level 2 destination charger. This is often the case when you're on the road. Now I'm gonna show you how they work and where you can get one. Let's get into it. Now I think the first thing to stress about this adapter is that it's not for charging your non-Tesla at a Tesla supercharger because it isn't for uh, DC fast charging. This adapter is for charging your non-Tesla at a Tesla level two destination charger. Those are the types of chargers that you'll see at like hotels, grocery stores, in the parking lot for hiking trails, etc. We've used them all over and chances are there'll be a lot of instances where you'll be somewhere where you need juice, but all they have is a Tesla level two destination charger. First, let's take a look at some basic specs on this thing. It comes in a nice carrying case. When you unzip it and you take it out, it's a pretty heavy uh, all alloy unit. And the thing that I really like about it, and it was one of the major, main reasons that I got it, is that it's lockable. It does come with keys, which if I can find them, there they are. It comes with, uh, I think, three keys, four keys. I don't know why four, but it comes with four keys. And if you want to lock it, you just plug, you plug the key into uh, this little latch right here, which I think is super useful if you're uh, charging overnight in public, like at a hotel or something. Now, since I'm uh, super anal, I like to weigh everything. So to give you an indication of the sort of the, the weight and how solid it is, let's weigh it here. And it comes out to 390 grams, which is, of course, 86 hundredths of a pound. Now, there are lots of CCS to Tesla uh, level two destination charger adapters on the market. Uh, I got this one on Amazon. Now, when you look on Amazon at it, you'll see that it's 4.1 stars out of five, a total of 33 reviews. This is a maximum of 80 amps, which is uh, really nice because some Tesla Level 2 destination chargers are set at 80 amps. And if you come in with an adapter that's not rated for 80 amps, it could melt and damage your car. So this one's gonna protect you from that happening. It's 85 bucks right now with and it also qualifies for a $20 coupon, making it 65 bucks, which in essence makes it like a quarter to a fifth of some of the competitors. Um, like I said, I've got a ton of use out of this and it's been nothing but great for me. It is Chinese made. So if you're not down with that, then this is probably not the one for you. Now I'll leave the link for this in the description box below. A huge advantage of this unit also is that it's so small. Uh, here's where I store it. I'm in my uh, trunk right now. I store underneath this little hidden compartment in my ID4. Uh, I've got this it's sort of a hidden compartment. It's meant for charging cables and stuff. Such That's where I keep it, right in there. Now that we've covered the basics of the unit, let's plug in and see how it works. Through movie magic, the next time you see me, I'll be at my most local level two Tesla destination charger and we'll hopefully get some juice. All right, so now I'm at my local Tesla level two destination charger. I'm in the parking structure for a hotel here in downtown Long Beach, which is often where you'll find Tesla level two destination chargers. Now I've taken the uh, Monzerian adapter out. And the first question is, well, where do I plug the Tesla plug into? There's the male end of the Tesla plug. Let me take it out so you can see it. That's what it looks like. It has like basically two eyes and then what looks like a mouth to me. And it's really compact. So the question is, where on the adapter, which side on the adapter do you plug it in? Well, taking a look at the adapter, you have the Tesla female end here, and then you have the J1772 male end here. There's a big difference between what the, uh, the ports themselves look like. The uh, Tesla female end basically has that matching uh, contactor pattern. It's got two eyes and what looks like a little mouth or nose. The J1772 end has a lot more contactors. It's got like five contactors. So this, the male end of the J1772 um, plug is what you're gonna plug into your non-Tesla EV, specifically into the J1772 uh, port, okay? So let me take the Tesla plug off. Spencer, 
I'm going to hold it between my legs, and hopefully I can coordinate this. So again, there's the Tesla female end of the adapter, and we're just going to squeeze it right on. I heard it click. That was pretty easy. Okay, so we're going to wait for 30 seconds for the connection to be made, and then we'll plug in. Okay, that's 30 seconds, so let's grab this puppy, and we're just going to plug right in, right into the J1772 port of the ID4. So, port indicator light is blinking, it's thinking, it's handshaking. The light on the Tesla charger itself went from blue to green. That now matches our port light, which is green. So we're going to go around the corner of the car to see how fast we're currently charging. Keep in mind this is level 2, so it's not going to be too fast. So we're, we're charging at 7.5 kilowatts, which is fine and dandy. That's good enough for 31 miles per hour. So it worked. Now just to show you how to lock the uh, adapter in your J1772 charge port, you're going to take the key here and you're going to plug it into the little lock that they've got here. You, got, you, gotta, you kind of have to line up the pins, which can be a little difficult. And you're going to twist all the way to the right and uh, take it out. Now, what that enables is you, you can't now press down on the unplugged trigger. You have to press this, this trigger down in order to take the adapter out, and now you can see that I can't. However, and this is a big point, the lock does not disallow somebody from just yanking out the Tesla plug itself. Now, I'm not going to do that because it wouldn't be good for the car, but that's a real drawback of this lock is that while it locks the adapter into your port it does not lock the tesla plug into the adapter so again if you're charging overnight and somebody had a bad attitude they didn't like you they hate evs or they hate you they could take the tesla plug and rip it out of the adapter but they still couldn't take the adapter out of your port now I'm not sure I like that, and that is probably a strike against this adapter. Still, I think this adapter has a lot of pros that, that outweigh the cons. The major con for me being that lock mechanism. I do wish it locked the Tesla plug into the adapter itself instead of just the adapter into your port. All right, guys, that's it. Maybe the Monzerian CCS to Tesla adapter is the one for you. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.